We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Good morning students. Today's topic is demonstration of fluidized bed dryer which is from the subject mass transfer operation 2 that is being studied in 6th semester. I am Dr. Rohini Singh, assistant professor from Department of Chemical Engineering, SNPIT and RC, Bardoli. So let's start with the lecture. The contents are Introduction of Fluidized Bed Dryer Applications of Fluidized Bed Dryers Principle and Working of Fluidized Bed Dryer and Laboratory Demonstration of Fluidized Bed Dryers Now, in the introduction part, we will try to understand what is actually Fluidized Bed Dryers. With the help of dryer, we remove the moisture content in the solid particles, from the solid particles. So, fluidized bed dryers, as their name suggests, are used for drying materials such as granules, tablets, powders, fertilizers and even plastics. There are numerous industrial applications of fluidized bed dryer. So, it is being used in different industries like chemical industries, pharmaceutical industries, food industries, dairy industries, metallurgical industries, dye industries and other important process industries. So there are so many applications of fluidized bed dryers. Now, if we come to the principle and working of fluidized bed dryers, there are many setups, but ultimately the principle and working of fluidized bed dryers remains the same. So as the name suggests, fluidized. So fluidization, we have to uh, the pr main principle is fluidization and due to that we want to convert the moist solid particulate to work as a fluid which means that can flow. So the equipment works on a principle of fluidization of feed materials. In fluidization process hot air is introduced at high pressure through a perforated bed of moist solid particulate. As I have explained you earlier, the wet solids are lifted from the bottom and suspended in a stream of air that is called fluidized state. Now from my, my point of view, for getting this more clear, the working of fluidized bed dryers more clear, I want to show you the video, one short video, which has been taken in our laboratory a um, few years ago to explain, to clearly explain the basics of fluidized bed dryer setup that is being installed in our laboratory. So let's move on and try to understand that how actually it works. So in a lab scale, as we can see, this is the setup. This is being installed in a laboratory, mass transfer operation laboratory. And further 
I will demonstrate to you all the working of this fluidized bed dryer setup in more details. Hope you all like it. Today we will study about fluidized bed dryer. So now, first we uh, understand about the control panel. Here we have the control panel where we have different switch for switching on different heater. This is for heater, this is for blower. Now, switching it on. This switch is on. So, here you can see this is a digital image where we can see it is a set temperature that is 80 degrees Celsius. And now, from the room temperature, it is starting from 36 degree, 36.3 degrees Celsius. We are just observing that the temperature is being raised gradually. So what we are doing, we are just increasing the temperature of the gas. Now we move to this area. Here we can use the material. This is the lid. From this we can just put on the material. जो हमारे पास जो भी dry materials होते हैं, जैसे clay, silica, gel, sand. तो पहले हम लोग उनको weigh कर लेते हैं, फिर उनको moist करते हैं, and then फिर हम लोग इसको डालते हैं उसको. By this lid. डालने के बाद फिर वो यहाँ रहता है एंड उसके बाद फिर हम लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं और लोअर जब हमारा सेट पॉइंट यहाँ तक पहुँच जाता है टेम्परेचर ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर तो हम लोग लोअर को ऑन करते हैं लाइक दिस So we can see that fluidization has been taking place because our sand or our silica gel is used here so this is fluid like this so that's why because we have dried the sand so what will happen slowly it will start to dry if we have wet particles in it we will have to dry it फिर क्या होता है cleansing process और cleansing process क्या होता है कि अब हमारा experiment complete हो गया तो हम इसे कैसे निकालेंगे तो हम लोग just इस valve को on कर देंगे ठीक है इस valve को on कर देंगे and lower on कर देंगे तो फिर क्या होगा हम निकाल सकते हैं अपना raw material जो भी है जो final product जो होगा उसको निकाल सकते हैं या कह सकते हैं कि raw material dried raw material जो हमारा उसको निकाल सकते हैं अब ये वो कि ये क्या चीज है तो ये हमारा साइक्लोन सेपरेटर है जब फ्लोराइजेशन का वेलोसिटी बढ़ाते हैं फ्रॉम दिस वैल वी कैन इंक्रीज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ एयर तो बढ़ाने के बाद हो सकता है कि फ्लोराइजेशन इंक्रीज हो और फिर कुछ पार्टिकल्स एटमॉस्फेयर में जाएं तो पोल्यूशन को कंट्रोल करने के लिए हम लोग ये सेटअप लगाया है साइक्लोन सेपरेटर ताकि हेवियर पार्टिकल्स इसमें आ जाएं एंड लाइटर पार्टिकल्स इस बैग में आ जाएं। बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड ये करना ज़रूरी होता है इन इंडस्ट्रीज़ जो जब हम लोग यूज़ करते हैं तो इंडस्ट्री में बहुत ज़्यादा रिस्ट्रिक्शन होते हैं कि उनको पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल में रखना है तो इस पर्पज़ से हम लोग ये करते हैं तो अभी आप देख रहे होंगे डिफरेंट थर्मोकपल्स तो ये क्या होता है ये आपका वेट बल्ब टेम्परेचर मेजर करता है एंड ये ड्राई बल्ब टेम्परेचर मेजर करता है ठीक है उसी तरह से ये वेट बल्ब टेम्परेचर मेजर करता है ये ड्राई बल्ब टेम्परेचर मेजर करता है और ये डिफरेंस होता है मैनुफेक्चर में हाइट का डिफरेंस वो सारा हम लोग कैलकुलेट करेंगे और अब क्या करना है कैलकुलेशन में धीरे धीरे क्या करना है दिस इज द स्पेशुला अभी जैसे जैसे टाइम इंक्रीज होगा 
goes after 300 seconds, after 600 seconds, after 900 seconds. And look, it is red for polling day. And if it is captured again through samples, collect again. Main concept same thing. So, yeah. 